Have you ever looked around and wondered, why do people have different skin colors? Maybe you've noticed how skin tones range from light to dark, and every shade in between. But did you know there's actually a very cool and simple explanation behind it? The answer lies in a natural pigment called melanin. It's the main player in determining our skin color. And today, I'm going to walk you through exactly how it works, without any complicated science talk. What is melanin? Melanin is like the color maker in our skin. Imagine you're baking a cake and you want to add food coloring to the batter. If you add just a drop or two, the cake will turn a light color. But if you add a whole lot of food coloring, the batter becomes much darker. Melanin works in a similar way. It's a pigment that your body produces, and depending on how much you have, it gives your skin its specific color. We all have melanin. It's in our skin, our hair, even our eyes. But some of us have more melanin than others, and that's what makes our skin tones different. It's not that people with darker skin have something completely different in their skin than people with lighter skin. It's all about how much melanin their body produces. How does melanin work? To understand how melanin works, think of a glass of water. Now, imagine adding drops of food coloring to the glass. The more drops you add, the darker the water gets. This is what happens with melanin in your skin. If your body produces a lot of melanin, your skin is darker. If your body produces less melanin, your skin is lighter. There's a lot more to melanin than just giving us our skin color, though. Melanin also acts as our body's built-in defense system against the sun. You can think of it like a natural sunscreen. The more melanin you have, the better your body is at protecting itself from harmful UV rays. That's why people with darker skin tend to get sunburned less easily than people with lighter skin. Although it's still important for everyone to protect themselves from the sun, regardless of skin color. Why does our skin react to the sun? Have you ever noticed that when you spend a lot of time in the sun, your skin might tan or even get darker? That's melanin at work. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, your body responds by producing more melanin. It's a bit like putting on extra sunscreen. The more melanin your body creates, the better your skin can protect itself from the sun. But if your skin doesn't produce enough melanin, or if you stay out in the sun for too long without protection, you might get sunburned. Sunburn is your body's way of telling you that it's had too much exposure to the sun's rays. So even though melanin can help protect your skin, it's always a good idea to wear sunscreen, no matter what your skin tone is. Why do people have different skin colors? So, where do these differences in skin color come from? To understand that, we need to go back in time, way, way back, to when humans first started spreading across the world. Our ancestors originally lived in Africa, where the sun is very strong. Over time, they developed more melanin in their skin to protect them from the intense sunlight. This is why people from places closer to the equator like Africa, Southeast Asia, and South America tend to have darker skin. But as humans moved to other parts of the world, like Europe and Northern Asia, they encountered less sunlight. In these areas, there wasn't as much need for heavy sun protection, and having less melanin actually became an advantage. Lighter skin can absorb more sunlight, which helps the body produce vitamin D, something we all need to stay healthy. This is why people who come from northern regions, like Scandinavia or Northern Europe, typically have lighter skin. It's all about how our ancestors adapted to their environments. Over thousands of years, humans evolved to have different levels of melanin based on where they lived and how much sunlight they were exposed to. Let's answer some common questions people have about skin color. A lot of people wonder if darker skin is better or stronger than lighter skin. The truth is, it's not about one being better or stronger. Darker skin does have more melanin, which offers more protection from the sun, but that doesn't mean it's invincible. Everyone, no matter their skin color, should wear sunscreen to stay safe from UV rays. Another question is whether someone's skin color can change permanently. While tanning can temporarily darken your skin and spending less time in the sun might lighten it, your natural skin color is determined mostly by your genes. So, while you might see slight changes, your skin won't permanently change color. Some people also ask about albinism. Albinism is a condition where a person's body produces very little or no melanin at all. This is why people with albinism have very light skin, hair, and sometimes even light-colored eyes. It's rare, but just like every other skin tone, it's perfectly natural. No matter what color your skin is, there's one thing we all have in common. The need to protect our skin from the sun. While melanin does provide some protection, it's not enough to completely block out the sun's harmful rays. Everyone needs sunscreen. Even people with darker skin can get sunburned, so don't skip the SPF. On the flip side, 
The sun also helps our bodies produce vitamin D, which is super important for keeping our bones healthy and strong. Lighter skin can absorb more sunlight and produce vitamin D more quickly, but people with darker skin might need to spend a little more time in the sun to get the same amount of vitamin D. It's all about balance, and whether your skin is light or dark, it's important to get the right amount of sun while also staying protected. The beauty of diversity. So, what does all this mean? At the end of the day, skin color is just one small part of who we are. It's a reflection of where our ancestors came from and how they adapted to their environments. It's also a reminder of the incredible diversity of the human race. No matter what shade your skin is, light, dark, or somewhere in between, it's all natural, healthy, and beautiful. Skin color is just one of the many things that make us unique. We should celebrate the fact that humans come in so many different shades and appreciate the diversity around us. After all, diversity makes the world a richer, more interesting place. So, next time you look at your own skin or notice someone else's, remember that melanin is the amazing pigment that gives us all our beautiful, unique colors. It's a product of nature, evolution, and adaptation, and it's something we should appreciate. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends.